So heading into our last match, we have a big size difference here between Gino Poirier, the, uh, the wrestler from TriStar, and Igor McIver, uh, the smallest member of Cicero Costa's team. Looks like Igor has elected for the, the full eight minutes. I'm not sure if there's enough of a weight difference here for that to be an option or not. So there are no penalties on the board and we have four draws. <laughs> if this final match ends in a draw as well with no penalties, then the judges will uh, elect a winner based on uh, aggression and submission attempts. Through all five matches. Through all five matches, through the, through the, 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 the competition as a whole. See the strength of uh, Gino uh, literally throwing Igor around. Gino's having a really solid match uh, against John Toth in the first round when he was uh, caught in an armbar. Igor uh, going to a draw against uh, Francis Saint Amour, uh, avoiding uh, a number of triangles on the way to that draw. Gino looking for a Kamara grip here. He set his hip, hip out in a way that I that I like that that limits uh, Igor's uh, options in uh, in half guard. Yeah, because if he sits up, he can potentially look exactly. for that sweep. And if he looks to climb the legs, then then Gino can can pass. This is a this is a solid threatening position. Gino looks like a strong strong kid as well. Not able to, to make anything happen from it though. Igor uh, extracting his arm safely. Petro knee shield. Gino using some uh, some face pressure there to control. Uh, Igor swiveling his foot uh, to control that upside arm. Six minutes uh, remaining uh, in the final match uh, of this uh, of this quintet championship. Tonight's competition brought to you by Parabellum MMA, one of the top MMA gyms in the country. Boy, you're looking to, to threaten that knee cut. Uh, Igor doing a good job with the uh, reverse de la Riva. Yeah, uh, may, may, may look to try to invert uh, underneath. Um, Igor, a relatively new addition to uh, Cicero Costa's team. Uh, moving over from Novo Miao in the past six months. So may not have the same uh, depth of experience with the, uh, the River State Lahiva that we saw from the rest of Cicero Costa. That, that may be unfair. Uh, Gino is a big, strong wrestler, uh, limiting movement. Less than five minutes remaining. Neither athlete being all that active. Uh, you may hear the referee offer some warnings, uh, some what he warning to Gino, just for being the top position, kind of holding that stagnant? It's hard to say. Uh, both both athletes here are, are a little bit a little bit stagnant. Uh, Gino, uh, a little cautious, a little cautious, but reacting to, to Tony's uh, admonition. And you were doing a good job with that reverse de la Hiva, uh, limiting, um, limiting the ability of, of Gino to knee cut pass. I'd actually like to see Gino start to circle to the other side uh, as a way to kill that, uh, that de la Hiva hook uh, rather than just continuing to try to use weight uh, and strength against uh, a fairly solid position from Igor. Past the halfway uh, mark, final four minutes in this uh, quintet championship. Decide who will be the team champion of evening.
We've been uh, playing in the same position now for about half this, half this match. You can see Igor is starting to look to dig for that leg. And again, below the, below the knee, below the knee, not really a threatening leg position. Gino gets, uh, you can see uh, tries to call for, for Gino to, to get back to that top position. Again, back to our uh, kind of modified half guard. This would be a good position for Gino to start knee cutting. Yeah. See, so you start to make that, that space. Good choice. I think Gino should make this match a little bit more physical. He's a big guy. He's a bigger guy. Oh, He's there. This is that. Yeah. The referee Tony, uh, was kind of already stepping in to yeah. move him as he did the back take. Let's see where he starts them. Probably from the head control. Probably from the front headlock. Oh, no. Okay. In the open. Three minutes. It's always tough to have a clean call in the middle of, a, of an action. See French instructions coming from the tricep. We got Brazilian over here. Portuguese. Portuguese, excuse me. Coming from the Cicero corner. Portuguese from the Brazilians. Yes. Yeah, that is a knee cut, but Igor did a good job of regarding. And again, you can see probably Gino stand and Igor looked to underhook that outside leg. Gino's got a long body type though, so we may be able to elicit more force on that, that guard. Yeah. See, he's digging for it again. I like the way Gino collapsed on that on that arm rather than, than letting uh, Igor start to pull himself over. He's actually kind of taking the initiative and trap that arm. Two minutes uh, remaining. Gino actually looking at his corner and doing gestures of this is what you want. Yeah, you can you can see he's a coachable athlete, but also probably the least exp experienced jujitsu player on the on the team. <laughs> Oliver asking for uh, for for Gino to uh, to split the hips with his knee. Uh, you can see uh, Oliver is doing that very well against Pedro to threaten that uh, that guard early in the match. Yeah, 90 seconds left. I like to see him for the knee and the butt here. Just old school, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's attack that guard. Let's attack that guard. Old bare bones fundamentals that work, you know what I mean? Especially against a big, strong wrestler. We got coming up on our final minute here. The Parabellum Three Quintet. It'll be interesting if this does go to a draw. It'll be interesting to see what the what the judges favor because I think TriStar has probably been more aggressive in terms of attacking submission, where where Cicero has been more aggressive in terms of of, of attacking controlling position and control. My sense is in a, in a submission based uh, game, the submission should take the, the precedence, but we'll see how this plays out. 30 seconds remaining. Igor proving me wrong and digging for this, this knee bar. Looking for there's a calf crush there. Gino is going to want to straighten his leg, uh, or at least avoid hip control. Yeah, Gino not liking that face, that face touch. A little, <laughs> little back and forth. What's wrong with a little face push? 10 seconds left. I don't think we'll see a submission here, which means we will uh, see the, uh, the judge's, uh, judge's decision. Time uh, running out. Let's see how this, uh, this plays out with the judge. 